Lightroom Illustrator, John McCoy. I'm working in Photoshop and I want to share a tip with you today. Um, if you want to use a reference that has the right pose, say with this camel here, I've got a really nice reference that matches the pose in my painting I'm working on here. But the lighting is not correct. I want the lighting to come from the left in my painting as opposed to the right. No problem, you can still use this reference. What you do is you go over here into your layers and you want to drag it, duplicate that layer, and then we'll control T to transform it and bring it up here, um, and then clean up some of this stuff here. Deleted. All right, so we got a new reference here, which is the same. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that new reference, and you've got this one, this top reference, these two duplicated references you see with my cursor over here on the top right. And then when you want to make the top one a color layer, and then you want to go to the bottom one and go to image adjustments, invert, and boom. You've got a inversion of values where the blacks become lights, or the darks become lights, and the lights become darks, which kind of approximates the light source I'm going for in my painting. Now, it's not going to be the correct natural colors that you're seeing in the original image, but that's not really a problem. You just got to use your imagination a little bit as you paint here, um, grabbing colors imaginatively from the bottom image and grabbing the values from the top image. And that's how you can take a reference, which is just about perfect, but didn't quite make the cut. You can bring it up to the level you want. So thanks for watching. I hope that helped.